Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga Song. My name is Hayan. Today we will focus on our chest and heart to open and relax our shoulders from hunch to the shoulder. You can find a little more space in your body through some stretches. So if you're ready, we can find nice and long spine with child pose. So in this moment, maybe you can walk your hands forward Create a little more space in your arms, relax your shoulders. Maybe you can lift on your fingertips if it feels okay. Take a deep inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, walk your hands forward, forward until you feel this is your optimum. Take a deep inhale, keeping your hips down. Exhale, chest melting down. Breathe in, breathe out. Your child pose should be different from how my child pose looks like. Take a deep inhale, listen to your body. Breathe out. If you notice any tension in your shoulders, time to let go. Notice how you feel, how this breath affects your body, especially your shoulders. Take a one more breath, inhale. Release your lower back as you breathe out. All right, from here, you can place your palms down Find your tabletop position. Keeping your knees above your hip distance, hands above your shoulder distance, moving your shoulders away from your ears. Cow pose. Inhale, lift your heart. And exhale, move your hips down. Child pose again. Breathe in, move your chest forward, cow pose. Keeping your back nice and long, hips down, child pose. Breathe in, head is last to come. Exhale, lengthen your back, hips down, chest down. Breathe in, awaken your back to release tension in your shoulders and neck. Exhale. Once more, breathe in, create a little more space in your chest. Exhale, release your lower back again, child pose. Good. Come back to center, tabletop again. This time, right leg back, find a balance, extend your right leg back, keep your core engaged, find a nice and long lower back here. Inhale, exhale, right knee to the chest. Breathe in, lengthen your lower back rather than arching your back. Keep your back nice and straight. Exhale, knee to your heart. Once more, inhale, keep your hips in level. Exhale, hug your knee to the chest. Back, inhale. This time, bend your right knee and you can release your left hand up and find your foot behind you. You can hold your ankle or foot, take a deep inhale, maybe you can stay here. Or you can lift your right knee up if you feel okay. If not, stay where you meant to be. Breathe in. Move your left shoulder away from your ear. Exhale. Inhale. You can lift your right knee a little bit higher. Exhale. Left shoulder away from your neck. 
take it slowly release left hand down right knee to the chest and step your right foot forward between your hands from lunge you can bring your hands up inhale open up the chest exhale bend your elbows create a little more space in your heart inhale bring your hands up exhale relax your shoulders lengthen your neck breathe in breathe out this time interlock your fingers behind your back or hips squeeze your shoulder blades if it is too strong for you you can hold your opposite elbows instead inhale find what is the best for you today exhale breathe in breathe out Keeping your lower back nice and long again. Inhale, hug your belly in toward your spine. Exhale. Good. Slow release. Bring your hands down. Move your hips back. Counterbalance. Half split. If you have a yoga blocks, you can take underneath your hands. If not, just lift on your fingertips. Inhale. Bring your chest down, exhale. Breathe in, nice and long spine. Breathe out, scaring your hips, chest down. One more, inhale, relax your neck. Exhale, deepen the sensations. Good. Bend your right knee, move your right knee back, find your all full position again. Plant your palms down, root down your foundation. And this time, extend your left leg, find a balance, hug your belly in. Take a deep inhale, exhale, knee to the chest. Inhale, lengthen your body from your heel to the top of your head. Exhale, strengthen your core. We need this strength. Inhale. Exhale. We need the breath here. And you can bring your left leg back again. Bend your left knee. You can flex your foot and move your right arm back and find your foot or ankle again. Breathe in. Breathe out, right shoulder away from your ear and you can move your left heel away from your hip if it feels okay. If not, you can just stay where you meant to be. Maybe here today or here, maybe somewhere else. Find your proper edge to connect your body. Inhale. Respect whatever you choose for yourself today. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Release. Bring your right hand down. Bend your left knee to the chest. Step your left foot between your hands. Lunge position. Bring your hands up. Inhale. Exhale, open up the chest, create a little more smile in your heart. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, you can move your shoulders. Breathe out, you can move your neck, free your body. Interlock your fingers or maybe hold your opposite elbows. Inhale, hug your squeezing your shoulder blades together inhale open up the chest exhale move your hips down if it is okay breathe in lengthen your neck as you move your shoulders down keep your core engaged to support your lower back once more inhale exhale 
it mindfully release move your head back stretch your left leg inhale just notice the tightness in your left hamstring embrace any sensation whatever comes to your body maybe one more extra maybe one side leg can be tighter than the other get release inhale this time right knee left foot back to your downward facing dog pedal your foot Maybe one knee bend at a time. Or both knees, the chest, stretch your back. Take a deep inhale. Find your shape of down dog today. Exhale. Get slowly walk your feet forward. And find your top of the mat. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, move your shoulders back. Maybe you can look forward. Exhale, relax your shoulders, head heavily down. Inhale, beautiful seven, shape. Breathe out, let something go. Root to rise up. Inhale, bring your hands up. Hands your heart. Exhale. Inhale, bring your hands up. Bend your elbows again. Open up the chest. Move your shoulders down. From here, you can interlock your fingers or hold your opposite elbows and move your left leg back. Find your high lunge position first. Take a deep inhale, open up the chest. If it is possible, you can bring your left heel down, warrior one. If you cannot reach your heel down, you can just hover your left heel up. Find your own shape of standing balance. You can bend your right knee again. Feel the stretch in your left back of leg. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, chest forward. Humbly, you can bring your chest down. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, chest down. Maybe you can move your hands away from your spine. Find your position of breathe. Exhale, breathing deeply, feel deeper in your shoulders. Slowly come back, bring your hands to your hips, and you can lift your left heel off. Find your Tadasana Mountain Pose. Move your shoulders down, take a deep inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale, open up the chest. Once again, you can interlock your fingers or find something else. Move your right foot back, find your high lunge. Bend your front knee and you can move your right heel down, close your mat. Take a deep inhale, lift your heart, hug your belly in. Exhale, chest down. Keeping your right heel down, inhale. Or you can lift your right heel off, exhale. Find the very best version of your heart opener, inhale. Exhale. Slowly release. Bring your hands to your hips. Lift your right heel off. Find your mountain pose. Inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale, hands down, chest down. <sighs> Inhale, flat back. Exhale, move your feet back to your downward facing dog. 
breathe in through your nose. Maybe you can release your mouth. Exhale. Good. Move your chest forward. Inhale. Plank positions. Move your shoulders away from your ears and knees down. Maybe chest and chin down. Moving your shoulders. Take a deep inhale, cobra pose. Exhale, bring your chest down. Do it again, move your shoulders first, and then you can create a little more space as you move your shoulders away from your ears. Press your feet down, hug your elbows in. Inhale, chin to the chest first. Lengthen your back of neck. Head is the last to come. Exhale, lower. Slow down your breath. Inhale, move your shoulders back. Peel your chest up. Lengthen your back of neck. Exhale, down. This time, you can move your hands a little bit away from your chest. So you can bend your elbows about 90 degree and moving your shoulders, create a little more mobility in your shoulders, free in your neck. Inhale, chest up like a cobra, but you feel more space in your chest and shoulders. Exhale, lower. Moving shoulder first, and then you can lift your chest, engage your core to support your back. Exhale down. Last one, shoulders back, hug your belly in, create a little more strength in your core. Inhale, relax your neck. Open up the chest. Exhale down. Great. This time you can bring your hands behind your back. You can interlock your fingers or maybe you can place your hands somewhere in your back. Take a deep inhale. Lift your chest up. Breathe out. Exhale. Maybe I can move my body a little bit backward to protect my hip bone here. Inhale, chest up. Exhale, chest down. One more. Inhale, lift your heart. Squeeze your shoulder blades wherever you are. Three. Keep breathing. Two. Move your shoulders back. And one. Inhale. Exhale, lower. You can move one side of head down, take a rest. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Hands next to your chest. Tuck your toes down, engage your core. Upper push up is your choice. You can bring your knees down or knees up. Press and lift. Inhale, find your plank. Exhale, move your hips back and up to your down dog. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it out. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Good. This time, right leg up. Inhale. Bend your right knee to your right elbow. And move your right foot outside of your right hand. Lead your pose here. Again, you can lift on your fingertips like this. Or palms down. Those who can go even deeper, maybe elbows down. Or you can take blocks underneath your elbows or hands. Keep your left knee off the mat if it feels okay. If not, you can bring your left knee down instead. Inhale. Create a little more space in your right inner thigh. Move your right hip back to scare your hips. 
Feel the tightness in your right inner thigh. Maybe somewhere else. Just listen to what your body tells you now. Take a one more breath. Inhale, shoulders back. Exhale, hug your belly in. Good. Now you can rest for a moment. Left knee down, press your hands down if you haven't done. And move your right hand up to the sky. Open your right chest. Maybe you can move your right hand back and move your right hand forward. Beautiful rainbow shape. Inhale, one of my favorite shoulder opener. At the same time, you can feel deeper in your right inner groin as well. Everybody feels different. Every day we feel different. So we can find what is best for us every moment we practice. Maybe you can stay with a deep twist, deep hip opener, and open up your chest. Or you can bend your left knee, find your quad stretch here. Hug your left heel toward your butt, and you can bring your chest down if you're looking for a deep sensation in your left side or quadricep. Breathe in. If you cannot reach your heel, Maybe you can stay here and just breathe and enjoy the sensations. Nice and long breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Try not to force yourself. Inhale. You know what really matters in the moment. Exhale. Good. Release. Mindfully bring your right hand down and you can lift your left knee up. Find your downward facing dog. Right foot back. Stretch your leg. Inhale. Stretch your breath. Good. Left leg up. Inhale. No rush. Bend your left knee to your left elbow and step outside of left hand. Find your second razor pose. You can verify, modify, excuse me, uh, with lifting on your fingertips or maybe place your palms down or forearms down. Take a deep inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, move your shoulders back and feel the stretch in your inner thighs. Deep inhale. If you want, you can move your left foot slightly out. Exhale, move your hips down. Once again, if you want, you can bring your right knee down and rest. I know it's not fully <laughs> resting pose, but try not to. Force yourself, push your body. Just stay where you can breathe and observe your body. All right, if you haven't done, right knee down and left hand up to the sky. Inhale. Shine your light, exhale. Bring your left hand up and down. Lift your heart. Exhale. Once more. Inhale. Exhale. There's no right and wrong. You've got your own answer. Maybe you can stay here. You can rest your hands somewhere in your back or hips. Or you can bend your right knee. Catch your foot or ankle. Those who can reach your foot, you can move your heel toward your butt and bring your chest down. <sighs> Breathe in. If you have a belt or yoga strap, you can use as well. Exhale. Breathe in. Find 
what is going to be best for you. Exhale. Good. Release. Bring your left hand down. Move your hip back. Maybe this time you can bend your left knee down. Take a child pose. Bring your hands back, chest down. Deep inhale here. Soothing exhale. Inhale. Relax your shoulders, your back. Yes. Exhale. You can stay here or you can slowly curl yourself up. Find your seated pose. Good. Move your hands up. Inhale. Maybe you can move your wrist bone, soften your hands, and maybe you can wiggle your fingers. And we will go to uh, the wrist stretch from here. So walk your hands forward and back to your tabletop position. And move your back of hands down, maybe one at a time or both hands at the same time like this. Take a deep inhale, exhale, move your hips back, stretch your back of hands, and you feel the stretch in your wrist bone. Inhale, if it is too strong, you can do one hand at a time. Breathe in, breathe out. We spend lots of time with this position in yoga or even, you know, the cell phone, the computer make our wrist tight and also very, you know, painful sometimes. So you need to find some stretches to feel better to release. Take a deep inhale. One more, deep exhale. Good, slow release. You can bring your hands down. Find one more downward facing dog. And gently walk your feet toward your hands. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Move your shoulders back. Exhale, bow down. To rise up, inhale, hands your heart, exhale. We will find dancer pose from here. So maybe you can bend your right knee first, right heel off the mat. Open up the chest once again, keep your hips in level. Once you're ready, you can pick up your right leg and bend your right knee and catch your right foot with your right hand. Maybe today you can stay here. It's already a lot with the one leg standing. I feel also very wobbly. If you can go further, you can slightly bend your left knee. It might help to find your balance. You can move your right knee back. You can move your left hand forward. Take a deep inhale, exhale. Maybe you can lift your right knee a little bit higher and move your right heel away from your hip. Find your center, focus on your body, focus on your breath, lengthen your left arm forward or maybe a little bit higher. Find your range of motion in your standing balance. Take a one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly release. Come back to center. I also feel imbalanced sometimes. So always listen to your body and find what really supports your body. Maybe today you can stay with one knee bent. Maybe someday you can go a little deeper as you move your knee away from your center so that you can create a little more space bit by bit, practice by practice. 
All right, see what's going on the other side. Bend your left knee. You can lift your left heel off. You can test your balance. Maybe you can lift your left toes up and down. Take your time. Hold your left ankle or foot and move your left knee a little bit backward. And keep your core engaged. Lengthen your spine. You can move your right arm forward or maybe a little bit higher. Or you can find something fancy or any mudra hand gesture if it serves your balance. Take a deep inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, stretch your body with deep listening. Inhale. Exhale. Find the best version of your dancer pose. Just like a dancer. Take a last breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Wobbly dancer. <laughs> Release. You can shake your legs. Or you can move your ankle, like a stretch your ankle as you bend your knee and stretch your front ankle. The other side. Ooh. <laughs> Good, shake it out. Move your feet wider, as wide as you feel good. Keep your two feet parallel to each other and bring your hands up. Inhale, exhale, hands your heart, hinge forward, hips back, chest forward. And you can reach your hands down or lift on your fingertips down. Inhale, open up the chest. Exhale, surrender all. Again, maybe you can stay in halfway or if you can reach your hands down, you can just hand, bring your hands to your knees or somewhere in your legs. Inhale, exhale, stretch your back of your thighs and maybe you can feel inner thighs as well. Relax your neck. Deep inhale, complete exhale, curl your back, slowly rise up, bring your hands to your heart, say thank you, <laughs> walk your feet, close each other, find your top of the mat, always be grateful for what you're doing for yourself. Exhale, you have what you need. Inhale, you feel what you feel. Exhale, move your feet back to your downward facing dog. Inhale, through your nose. Exhale, big side out. Right, slowly bring your knees down, find your seated pose. And you can move your hips down and just lengthen your legs, shake it out. And bend your right knee, move your right foot to your left side. Shoelace pose in halfway, so maybe today you can stay with half shoelace if you can reach your knee to knee if it is too much maybe you can find figure four shape instead or jana shilsasana foot here in a thigh okay so choose whatever supports your legs and hips keeping your two hips down wherever you are inhale bring your hands up Exhale, bring your chest forward. You can lift on your fingertips and chest down. Feel a deep sensation in your back of leg. Breathe in and breathe out. 
Once more, inhale, keeping your shoulders away from your ears as always. Exhale. Good. Come back to center. Switch your side. All right. Keep your knees stacking each other. Or maybe figure four. Maybe foot your inner thighs. Take a deep inhale. Bring your hands up. Exhale. Inhale. Maybe you can lift on your fingertips to stretch your shoulders. You're melting your chest down. Breathe in. Accept your uniqueness. Exhale. Impress as it is. Good. Slowly release. All right, extend both legs. Shake, shake, shake. And bend your knees. Find your spine lying down position. Take a deep inhale. When you exhale, you can press your hands down and lift your hips up. Bridge your pose. Inhale, hips down. Exhale, lengthen your lower back without pushing your lower back. Lengthen your lumbar spine here. Keep your core engaged. Feel the stretch in your quads. Release. Again, when you exhale, lift. Maybe you can stay a little bit longer. Press your hands down or you can interlock your fingers underneath your hips. If it feels good, you can press your hands down, create a little more space in your lower back and your front thighs and also your chest. Squeeze, hugging your shoulder blades together. Take a one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly release, hips down, good, keep your left foot down, right ankle over your left knee, and from here we will go to gentle twist, right foot down to the left, keeping your right knee away from your, maybe the mat or floor. Hands aside, you can bend your elbows if it feels good for your chest and shoulders. Take a deep inhale, exhale. Once more, inhale, exhale. Good, release. Right foot down, left ankle over your right knee. Again, move your knees to the right side, left foot down to the right. Move your left knee away from your belly. Feel the stretch in your outer hip, maybe IT band, your outer leg as well. Take a deep inhale. Long exhale. Breathe in. Let go. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Come back to center. Release. And you can lift your legs up. Shake it out. Move your feet a little bit wider. And you can hold your back of thighs or maybe somewhere else. Happy baby pose of your choice. Move side to side to massage your lower back. And you can stay here. Or maybe you can choose something else. I like to move my knees like a crossing knees and bring my hands to my ankle or outer foot. 
if it is too much, you can just cross your knees and move side to side. Or crossing knees already too much, maybe you can cross your ankle bone as well. And then move side to side. Good. Another direction. Knees together. Notice the tiniest in your outer hips. Or you can release your hands, just freely move. Or you can find your two angles together and massage your lower back. So there are lots of lots of options that you can play with. Your back, hips. Good. Once you're ready, you can bring your feet down. Maybe you can move your feet a little bit wider as you bring your knees together. Lengthen your lower back and move your shoulders down and simply rest here. Bring your hands to your belly and just observe your breath. forehead. Take a moment to reconnect your inner wisdom, intuition, enhance your heart. Take a moment to appreciate your practice. And you can think about maybe one thing that you feel grateful for today. It can be your yoga practice, it can be something else that you feel really Precious. And maybe you can thank you to someone who supports your practice, your life, your being. Thanks for sharing your beautiful energy with me today. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done. And you can share this beautiful heart opening video with your friends who you love the most. Take good care everyone. Namaste.